But what high school did you play with? Crockett. Bro? Crockett. We were terrible. <laughs> we were terrible, brother. Yeah. Because we were playing. Uh, we were playing Westlake. Uh huh. We were playing like the teams you're saying, Lake yeah. Travis. Yeah. Uh, we played Bowie. So a lot of the guys that were on those teams, man, they they went on to. Uh, play NFL, for the Longhorns. college, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, man. I played against Christian Campbell, Earl Campbell's son. Uh-huh. I played against uh, Houston Street. He's a pitcher. Yeah. He uh, pitched in the major leagues. He was uh, he was a Longhorn. Yeah. I played against Michael Griffin. Uh huh. Michael Griffin, uh, Cedric Griffin. Some yeah. of the brothers. They went to Bowie. Yeah. I played against them when I was in high school. Wow, man. So man, it was. That's crazy, crazy man. athletes. Man. And you know what? I've always wondered about you know because we have valley teams and man, mm-hmm. they get up to the third level and mm-hmm. it's it's over. I mean, we get slaughtered or whatever, you know. But uh, in that area, you know, there's certain um, areas in the school district that they tend to excel consistently, you know. And I always thought, is it because there's more money in those districts, or how was your district? Was your district uh, when you were going to high school there in Crockett, what do you think was the reason b- behind not being able to compete with teams like that, bro? So the thing is, is money. Uh huh. That's Gawa- what I thought. Gawachos and money. <laughs> so they grow up in the same schools, uh-huh. the same system, the same coaches. Like these parents, they hire these coaches. They say, we're going to pay you this much. They'll bring in kids. They'll scout kids from other sports spots in the city mm-hmm. and bring you in yeah. and they'll move you they draft people they yeah, draft man, kids that's in how there. it works yeah that's how that's how the world works you yeah know that. so but that's, nobody that's ever but that's a, that's like a secret yeah I mean, dude, it's think like about it. know. think about it these guys are not more talented uh-huh. they don't have more heart than us uh-huh. they're not more competitive than us but they go through these little channels and their parents send them to camps they're at mac brown's camp they're at uh, mm-hmm. Cliff Gustafson camp, they're at yeah. uh, Peyton Manning's camp, Eli Manning's camp. They have the means to do that. Yeah. And they send their kids to all these things, and that's why they excel, and they know people. And Everybody they got all the somebody. good protein, too. Yeah, man. you heard about the scandal, right? How parents are paying uh, coaches and different people at UT. Yeah. You know, these parents are giving professors a million dollars. Like, or not, not necessarily professors, but just like coaches. Hey, I'm going to give you a million dollars. Give my kid a scholarship, mm-hmm. and we're gonna say he's on the tennis team. Mm-hmm. So they want to. That get was him a YouTube. coming out of California, but it's a well, nationwide that, that's, epidemic. That's a, bro, that was happening in Texas. Yeah, that, that happened with the with the yeah. tennis coach mm-hmm. in Texas. Wow, they, he got fired for that. Yeah. So that happens everywhere, man. Yeah. But that's what happens. That's why those teams yeah. are great. Yeah. And they have the best coaches. They have the best fields. They have the best facilities. Mm-hmm. They. Training programs, but anyway. And know. Crockett was out in the, you know. Man, it was hood, brother. Yeah. It was hood, man. <laughs> you were under a warehouse yeah. or something or what? Nah, uh, it, was a, it under, was a good school, we're gonna man. Ride, we're going to work out under the tree tonight, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. It yeah. was, it's, you know, hard nose. We yeah. worked hard. You know, yeah. blue collar type of school. Mm-hmm. But it, you didn't go there to, to get a scholarship. What area of Austin is, is Crockett? Is it South uh, Austin. South Austin, South okay. Austin. By Slaughter Lane over there uh, in that area? Right around William Cannon and Stastny. Oh, okay. William Cannon and Stastny area. Yeah. Is that all yeah. la raza, bro? Is there a lot of... That's, that's part of it. Some, uh-huh. some, somewhat. Yeah. Uh, more raza is the east side of Austin. Yeah. East side of Cause Austin. Because I remember 6th Street, they'd always say 6th Street. Of the, yeah, well, the, the Street. west side is the blues and English. And then you yeah. go to the east side, that's a little more the dangerous. The cantina side. Yeah, the cantina. But not anymore, man. Ju- no? Gentrification happened, uh-huh. and so now it's completely different, man. It's it, like, it's it's hipster spots. Oh, okay. Hipster spots on the east, east side. East Sixth yeah, Street. Yeah, brother. You can. Back in the day, you'd grow up in the east side of Austin, Texas, mm-hmm. and they'd have a house. You probably your parents would buy a house for twenty thousand mm-hmm. dollars for that house now. Eight hundred thousand dollars. Damn. Eight hundred thousand dollars. Oh, you want me to move out? Give me a million dollars, and these people will pay a million dollars. They'll knock your house down and start over. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Wow. That's that's the market in Austin. So you were out of Austin, Texas, which is like a freaking melting pot of music uh, yeah. influences, bro. I mean, yeah. you got blues there, you got rock, you got metal, you've got country. The Texas country scene's coming out of that area. Yeah. New Braunfels. Everybody all that. from the Texas country scene lives in Buda, Kyle, yeah. uh, San Marcos, si. New Braunfels. And all those so, little little places where they play all over the yeah, place, man. right there, Wimberley and all mm-hmm. that area. Yeah. So. You were uh, you were attracted to the Tejano and, and Norteño music, and because yeah, of your parents, your yeah. parents, your dad was uh-huh. a musician. Yeah, it's in my blood. Mm-hmm. You know, I tell a lot of people this all the time. Uh, you know, when I started, it was about I loved it. This is this is me. I could I could pick any genre like you're talking about. I could play rock. We could play blues. Play hip hop. I grew up in Austin, mm-hmm. so I was exposed to all these different 
genres. Mm -hmm. But Tejano, Chicano, Mexicano, this is in my blood, man. This is, these are my people. This is what I want to do. And this is what I love. You know, because I listen to hip hop, I listen to rock, I listen to country. But something about this, I can't get away from it. It's in my blood. And it's you what makes add, me happy. It's, it's, yeah. We're family. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And you so, add some of those influences yeah, in brother, your music, man. Sure, you, man. You blend it, you fuse it. Yeah, that's what it is from being from Austin, yeah. you know? Like, we get, we're exposed to everything. Se lo traen como mueve la cintura Gonna make a plan cry Ven mami mueve tus cadenas Come on baby tú estás bien buena and the accordion, why the accordion brought me to do who was who were you looking up to as, as an accordion player back when you're growing up? I mean you you were eight years old around the mid yeah. uh, early nineties, you know, honestly, ten brother, years old. Honestly, who I would see, I would see like 